Celebrate the most precious gem in your life. Mom, with a trip to the International Gem and Jewelry Show, it's happening today at Veterans Memorial. And here to give us a preview of the exotic pieces that you can see, gemologist Bill Vance is here this morning. And you have brought some great pieces for us. So we're going to talk and focus a little bit on tanzanite. For those that don't know, what, what is tanzanite? Well, it's a member of the zoazite gem mm -hmm. family. Most of the material uh, comes out of the ground in a, a brown color. Sometimes you can get a crystal that will be blue like this with a different color here and here. And the base of the crystal like this is brown. So it comes out, I mean, looking and blue. The brown. Oh, some looking brown. Does, oh, but, some. But when we cook it, all this brown part goes away and it becomes blue like this. Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, and I was asking you too uh, during the break, how does this rank with a diamond? Well, it's about a million times rarer than a diamond. Uh, wow. And the only known source of the material, uh, I think we have a graphic for that, but it's the only known source of the material is in Tanzania, and obviously Tanzanite. And the area itself is less than a kilometer wide and less than three kilometers long. And the only known source in the world of the material. Boy, okay, so, but you've got some beautiful pieces here. Let's kind of go over these. Now these up here, you said, well, are pretty expensive. Well, the rings are kind of expensive because, mm -hmm. you know, we've got the combination of the gemstones and the diamonds. And then we also have the cut uh, loose stones here. And then down here, uh, these are pink tanzanites. Now, how do you get them Those, to be pink? I don't. Oh, who does? They're done by Mother Nature. Oh, Those okay. stones have not been heat treated. If those stones have been heat treated, we don't actually know what color they would go because they're so expensive. The pink tanzanites or pink zoazites are one of the rarest gemstones in the world. So you don't want to touch them. Well, you don't want to heat them. <laughs> really. You don't want you to heat, heat them up. But if we were to take this crystal mm -hmm. and heat it, it goes a bright, intense blue, as with this one. But these two are what we call mineral specimens that are actually sold to mineral collectors around the world, too. So people not only enjoy the rough minerals as, as a, a collection item, but they also buy and invest in the gemstones and then Mother's Day, nice, beautiful tanzanite ring. Yeah, what's, what's the misconception that people have about tanzanite? That it's very rare it is, mm -hmm. but the most uh, thing was that the mines are not closed. They are open and constantly producing materials. Um. So uh, there's some transition, I think, getting ready to take place in the entire area because one of the major producers has created someone purchasing tanzanite that has 2,200 stores in China. Now, for those who are coming down to the uh, Gem and Jewelry Show today, what will they what will they see? What can they expect? Well, there's a lot of rare, unusual gem materials. I have some in my case. I'm kind of right in the front door. But there's a wide selection of other materials there, too. Uh, quite a few beads, uh, not very much in the way of mineral specimens, and some finished jewelry, quite a bit of finished jewelry, actually. So you've got, you know, the prices from something that may be from you know, on the low end to the high end, what are we talking? You can go from 10 bucks to $100,000. Wow. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful Absolutely stuff. Gorgeous. All right, now, so I know I keep eyeing these two over here. How much do these cost? How much do these well, run Well, the, the retail value on this one is like $12,000. Oh, and that's all. And the retail all. value on this one is about 10000 But that's retail. We, most of the people at the gem shows have a tendency to uh, let people have them at a, a pretty high discounted price really. Oh, so then that's good. If you come out, you oh, get a yeah. discount. Yeah. Well, it's love really it. Nice. All right, Bill, thanks so much well, for joining pleasure. us this thank morning. Thank you very much. I'm and, glad I got to come. You know, I think that these are some gifts that both Adam and Phil should be looking at for their wives for <laughs> Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. You have to do some real wheeling and dealing on that. That's right. <laughs> Those well, are know, beautiful. They are. To learn more about the International Gem and Jewelry Show, visit our website, myfox28columbus.com.